Goosey. Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Out here feeding the geese and the ducks. All the animals are hungry. Goosey. Goosey. I feed them this uh, fish food. We got a lot of uh, baby bluegill, baby catfish. By the hundreds in here. Catfish usually don't spawn. And they ended up spawning this year. And there's tons of them, so I'm trying to keep them fed up. And the, the ducks and the geese, they won't hardly eat the corn that I give the chickens and the goats. So that they come out here, they wait on this fish food because they love it. So, having shown the geese, everybody likes when I show the geese. I'll go out here and take a gander at the bee yard. Uh, Thursday, got an announcement Thursday. We're going to put out the video where we're talking about winter preparation. So many people have been asking about this. So, so that's what we're going to do. This is kind of like a pre-video explaining and try to get people to tune in for Thursday. Probably Thursday evening. I usually post them around 5 to 6 o'clock on Thursday. So I'll post this video out tomorrow, which will be Sunday. Today's Saturday, Saturday evening. Uh, I always show this pollen feeder so people get an idea. It's probably about uh, 65 degrees. They are taking a little bit, but not much. Just a little bit. There's still goldenrod out, out there. Uh, here's some good evidence right here. And these chickens have been tearing these hives up underneath. Just to show you, uh, the underlayment we used this year, it, it just didn't work out that good. It started out good, but once the chickens got a hold of it, they tore it to shreds because it's just thin and it cracked with the with the heat and the rain. So, uh, but you can see, see, I mowed last week. This was all cleaned up. You can see here. This is how hard these chickens work under these hives, and that's why I keep trying to push people to to have bees to eat some chickens. They're looking for larvae. Uh, the hive beetle larvae as they 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 hatch out and come out of the hive They fall to the ground and those chickens will come out and they will absolutely devour The larvae underneath and that's what you see here uh, every row uh, I got a lot of chickens now quite a few and You can see how they're really the bees aren't hardly flying because it's kind of cool. It's getting dark it's starting to, it's cloudy out, so there's not a whole lot of movement today. The previous video, there was quite a few bees moving, but it was a lot warmer and the sun was out. We're at, towards the end of the day, it's about, maybe about 5.30, I guess. Something like that, I could get ready and go to work here in, a, in about an hour. So, but I wanted to show you the importance of these chickens and look how they've, underneath here they, they've done this either this morning or yesterday i didn't notice this yesterday when i come down here but they have really really done a number under these hives and they, they turn over and that's another good important thing about keeping the grass bare is it'll give those chickens an opportunity to dig if you let grass grow they just won't hardly touch it but they love bare soil so that's why i like about using the using your, your salt solutions underneath the hive and they will absolutely tear it up but didn't want to talk a whole lot about today just wanted a little update um, about the hives and showing you how the chickens are working underneath and and to, it, tell everybody about the video we're putting out Sunday now I'm gonna go over a list of things that you need to do in preparation for winter Things like dry sugar feeding, uh, tilting your hive forward, and just a whole list of things that I'm going to go over in the video. It may be a, a fairly long video, but I want everybody, if you would, to spread these, to spread that video out, especially to the new beekeepers, and it'll help them out to get their bees through the winter. So, 
they're out a little bit they're not it's just uh the temperature just a little bit cool so there's not a whole lot but there's the animals look <laughs> the big old white rabbit right there watching me and there's a black rabbit i got animals everywhere i'm an animal freak there's a big white rabbit down there under a tree that's my old rabbit i've had him uh going on about five years i guess i've had him a long time and he's been running loose the whole time that's how long he survived but he's just smart and he lives in the barn all these animals that come in the barn at night time and they're protected by the the goats and everything else so they they do fairly good that's about it i'm gonna wrap this video up don't forget if you want to get your nukes and packages early next year, buy them now. Uh, barnyardbees.com. It's uh, try to think ahead because a lot of people, uh, they order their bees late and then they get them late. So so you're put in line as, as people order them. So if you want to get a head start, jump up, go ahead, get these um, bees ordered early. And also another little thing we're going to talk about, uh, you know, we're we, not only do we sell bees, we have a store. We do have a retail store, uh, an online store, barnyardbees.com. And next year, we're growing at a pretty good rate. We're going to actually offer uh, wholesale prices to, to dealers. So um, very, very competitive prices, I can assure you. So, you know, for example, just, just one example, uh, frames. Uh, if you order over a hundred frames, we can get them to you for a dollar a piece. Uh, if you order over a hundred, and uh, the, with the rapid feeders, the barnyard bee rapid feeders that we sell, uh, we're going we're to start pushing those wholesale to people, the, to dealers, or people that just have a lot of bees that want to buy in quantity. So we'll be doing a lot of that towards the end of this year, starting probably around December, and then from there on out. So kind of keep us in mind for for stuff like that uh, anything and everything you need we have at barnyardbees.com don't forget click on the little bell like and subscribe goosey thanks for watching barnyard bees